Alright, so in this problem, I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. So for my solution, first start with 500 squared minus 499 squared. And now, I'm going to rewrite 499 here as 500 minus 1. So now if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Sorry, a squared minus 2ab. So in this case, a is 500 and B is 1. So now I have 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now, to simplify, I have 500 squared minus 500 squared plus 1,000 minus 1. Now, 500 squared minus 500 squared, these two simply cancel out. So now I have 1,000 minus 1, which is equal to 999. Now, another way to do this problem is, again, I have, I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. And this time, I'm going to rewrite 500 squared as 499 plus 1 squared. So now I have 499 plus 1 squared minus 499 squared. And if I have something in the form A plus B, squared. This is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So a is 499, b is 1. So I have 499 squared plus 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared minus 499 squared at the end. And this is equal to 499 squared plus 998 plus 1 squared minus 499 squared. These two cancel out, so I'm left with 999, 998 plus 1, which is equal to 999. Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x plus 16. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln or natural log on both sides. So now I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln of 4 to the power of x plus 16. Now if I have something, uh, if I take the ln of something in the form a to the power of b, and I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x. I can move x to the front, and ln 4 to the power of x plus 16. I can move x plus 16 to the front. So now I have x times ln x is equal to x plus 16 times ln 4. Now if I distribute the ln 4, I get x times ln 4 plus 16 times ln 4. Now if I subtract x times ln 4 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x times ln x minus x times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. Now I can go ahead and factor out x from here, so I get x times ln x minus ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4.
Now ln x minus ln 4, that's simply equal to ln x over 4. So I have this is equal to 16 times ln 4. And now this is essentially saying that x over 4 is equal to 4 over here. These two are equal to each other. So if x over 4 is equal to 4, this means that x is equal to 16, because these two have to match up as well. So now to check, let me plug this in over here. So if I plug in 16 over here, I get 16, because x over here, 16 times ln, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So I get 16 times ln 4 is equal to 16 times ln 4. So this works. Now for method 2, sorry, a method 2 for to check. I have x to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x plus 16. x equals 16, so I have 16 to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. 16 is 4 squared, so I have 4 squared to the power of 16 is equal to 4 to the power of 32, meaning 4 to the power of 32 is equal to 4 to the power of 32. All right, so in this problem, I have 5,555 squared minus 4,444 squared. So to solve this, well, to start, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So if you notice over here, well, this is in the form a squared minus b squared because a in this case is 5,555 and b is 4,444. So now if I put this in the form a plus b times a minus b, I'm going to get a plus b, so 5,555 plus 4,444 times a minus b, so 5,555 minus 4,444. Now, to, to solve this, well, 5,555 plus 4,444, that's going to be equal to 9,999. Now, this times 5,555 minus 4,444, which is 1,111. So now I want to multiply these two, but as you can see, it looks pretty challenging because both of these are really big numbers. So the easiest thing to do is, well, we see 1,111 here, and this is a multiple of 11. And because it's all ones, it's going to be really easy to multiply with this number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 9,999 as 10,000 minus 1. So I have this times 1,111. And now I can go ahead and distribute. So 10,000 times 1,111, that's going to equal 11 million, 110,000. So now I have this minus 1 times 1,111, which is simply just 1,111. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract these two. So 1,000, or sorry, 11 million 110,000 minus 1,111. That's going to equal 11 million 108,889. So this is my answer to this problem.